Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this super sweet mini slimline card to share with you, featuring the new Berry Rainy Day stamps and the flippin' awesome die by Lawn Fawn. Before I get started with making this card, I'm quickly going to show you all the things that I need to make it. I'm using my flippin' awesome die set and the largest of my large mini slimline stackables. I'm also using some cute pattern paper from the Amy Tangerine paper stack. Here I'm just looking through a few stamp sets and pointing to the other images that I'm going to be using for this card. The first thing that I'm going to do is cut my card base and I want this to be a top folding card so I need to cut this myself from some cardstock as I don't have any card bases that would work for this. As you can see my cardstock is a little wavy. We've had two thirds of a year's worth of rain in just five days here in Queensland and I've noticed even my cardstock is getting affected by this crazy weather. I cut my card base so that it's just small enough to fit behind my largest slimline stackable. I also cut my flippin' awesome mechanism with white cardstock. Here I am stamping out all of my adorable images. I'm using all of the bears from this new stamp set and I'm using the largest one twice. This is a stamp set that when I first saw it I thought maybe I don't need it, I really need the mice to add to my collection. It just wasn't one of my must-haves, but then I had this idea for this card and it ended up being the first stamp set of this new collection that I've purchased. I grabbed this stamp set and the pop-up platform from Hobby Hoppers because I knew it would get here really quick and I've ordered the rest of my things from Lawn Fawn themselves as it was my birthday month and I wanted to use my 10% off and grab my little party pig stamp. I'm also really excited to get the freebie stamp because you know I spent more than the required amount to get the freebie. While I was stamping out my bears, I also stamped out a few other images as well. I am now moving on to my colouring and I have recently re-inked my Copics. So I've got my favourite brown back to colour these bears. And as you may notice, I'm colouring all of these bears except one of the larger ones the same colours. And I hope that as I put this card together, you'll see that it's meant to be the same character. I end up colouring the other bear off camera as I use the same colouring technique as always and I really wasn't sure if I was going to include it or how it would fit but turns out I had room on one of these little scenes to fit that bear and you'll see that a little later. All my images are coloured in so now it's time to go do some fussy cutting while I have a coffee. Now that all of my colouring is done and all of my images are cut out, it's time to get working on the backgrounds for all of these little scenes. 
I always forget how much work is involved with a flippin' awesome card. The card itself isn't difficult or too tricky. There's just a lot of pieces and backgrounds to make all before it comes together in the end. So what I'm doing here is making all of these little backgrounds look the same except for one of them. They are all going to be a rainy sky. So I'm using some blue distress oxide ink here and then I'm going to use a little bit of brown for the ground and I'm going to darken up the edges with some black. It's a very simple background, but I think it's just enough to fill the space and to show that it's meant to be an outside scene. Once my Distress Oxide backgrounds are dry, I then take my paintbrush with a very, very small amount of water so that my drops aren't too big, and I splatter it all over the background to lift just a little bit of that colour. Ensuring that my dots are really tiny makes it really look like raindrops. I then splatter both white acrylic paint and blue sparkly watercolour pigment all over. These layers and colours all add to that rainy sky look that I'm going for. For just one of my little scenes, it's not a rainy sky, but you can see the sky through a little window. So I made a smaller version and stamped some raindrops on it to place behind a frame that I'm using for my window. For that same little scene, I'm using some pattern paper for the wallpaper and some brown cardstock for the floor. I placed the only bear without a raincoat on a little stool so it looks like this little guy is inside his house looking out at the rain. This little bear reminds me of my son. He's so interested in the weather and how it all works and we always find him at his window watching storms, watching creatures outside his window. So as I'm making this card I'm thinking of my little boy. This is the only little bear with dimension as he's going to be on the front and on the top of all of these little scenes. I can't do this with the others as it will make the little flippy scenes before them stick out too much. For my next little scene, I have a mama bear with her little baby bear holding her hand. Maybe he's unsure of being out in this weather and holding onto her as he knows she'll keep him safe. In this next little scene, our little friend has gotten over his fear and is excitedly jumping in the puddles. I also added the little frog from the Berry Rainy Day stamp set. He is just so tiny and so cute. This next scene shows a bigger bear confidently cruising through the rain. It doesn't seem to even faze him now. If you're familiar with the Flip and Awesome set, then you know that after you pull that tab, a much larger scene comes out at the end. And for that piece, I'm going to be stamping I Love You at the top and Forever down the bottom using my Harold's ABC stamp set. And then it was time to add all the scenes together. So we've got to go backwards as we stick these down. And the last flap is getting stuck down first. I'm using my tape runner that is a semi-permanent adhesive until you leave it for a little while. So I have plenty of time to take these off and realign them if I'm not happy with them at first. The next scene is one of the little bear jumping in the puddles all by himself that comes before this little bear holding his mummy's hand. And then of course my very first scene, which is the little bear in his house looking at the window. So as we flick through them, we almost see this little bear growing up a bit and becoming more confident. Unfortunately, when I had stamped the I love you, I had stamped it a little bit too high and it wasn't fully visible when I pulled the tab and pulled that last scene down. So to fix it, I grabbed a little stitch cloud and stamped I love you on it again. And now I'm going to be covering up my mistake and making sure it's properly visible this time. It's something that I should have checked earlier, but I just thought it would work. For the last piece that pops out at the end, I'm adding a big grown-up bear and I'm also adding a grown-up frog. So maybe this little critter has grown up alongside our sweet little bear. <music> to 
To ensure that none of this gets snagged and stuck as you pull down on the tab, I'm going to be using a piece of acetate that I cut using the same flippin' awesome die. This is so that it fits perfectly over the top. I'm going to be adhering this in places that you can't see, so well up in the top, under that last flap, and underneath where I will be gluing some pattern paper for my pull tab. Doing it this way means that it's not perfectly stuck down everywhere, but it is enough adhesion to hold it into place. It also means now that when I pull on that tab, it glides out so smoothly with none of my images getting stuck. And most importantly, it can slide back up as well. I learned this watching one of the Lawn Fawn tutorials from a long time ago, and it has honestly been one of the best tips for these flipping awesome cards. I'm now going to stick down my whole flippin' awesome piece, but before I do, I'm quickly going to stamp rain or shine down the bottom on my pattern paper to fill in this gap, and I guess to kind of complete the sentiment. So it's like, rain or shine, I love you forever. I glue my pattern paper onto my card base that I had made earlier using some double-sided tape. And while I remember, because I never remember to do this step, I'm going to put my logo on the back. It always blows my mind that this entire piece is held onto my card front with just a little bit of glue or double-sided tape on these tiny little tabs. So here I am adding my double-sided tape and in any areas that it doesn't cover, I add some liquid glue. I really want this to have a nice strong bond. As with it being an interactive card, it's going to be pulled on a lot. And here we have the finished card. I just love that as you flick through these little scenes, you start off with a little bear who's looking outside to one who grows up and is confidently doing things on his own. I hope you love this card. If you enjoyed this project, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see what I make next. I'm so excited to get stuck into the rest of the new Lawn Form release items that I have purchased. I can't wait to make the cute things to inspire you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.